guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be testing out the KKW Beauty So Fire Palette. So if you want to see the look we create with this, then just keep watching. Okay, so I have not owned any of KKW Beauty stuff, um, just because personally I tend to stick with only buying at Ulta and only buying at Sephora, just because I like to buy things at once in bulk instead of going to separate individual websites. Personal preference. So I hadn't bought anything of hers, but now KKW Beauty is in Ulta. So I saw this in the store and picked it up. It's the So Fire, literally, So Fire eyeshadow palette. It retails for $45. There are 10 shades in here. Yeah, let me open it up for you. Do you guys care like about weight or anything? If you guys want to know that stuff, let me know. I just never figure anyone really cares that much. I don't know about you, but I just look at the pan size. So this is what it looks like. Very warm tone and fiery. So I don't know what we're going to do. Ooh, or that gold. These are really pretty. So I'm just going to swatch a couple of them on my fingers. Ooh, that's really soft. So here's the shimmer shades really pretty they don't have any names i just oh the names are on the back oh i hate that how are you gonna know which one's which well i know for sure this one is molten La molten magma i'm gonna assume this one's the golden ember and if that's the case then this one is burnt and bronzed so then this one is fiery eruption so, I hate when they put the names on the back, because then sometimes you don't know which way to read them. It's just, I'm pretty positive that that would be golden amber, ember. So, all right, let's figure out a look. I'm dying in here. Okay. I've noticed my makeup room is freezing. <gasps> What am I doing? I didn't even do my face. Okay. I am an idiot and realized I never even finished my face because I'm filming a foundation review. So I'm gonna go finish my face and then we'll start working on the eyes. Okay, we're back. So now let's actually start playing with this palette. I think the first thing I'm gonna <laughs> I think the first thing I'm going to do is go in with this shade, which I oh this shade which I think is called Carter of Hecka Hecla Carter of Hecla Crater of Hecla Wow but <laughs> anyways it just looks like a light neutral brown so we're gonna start with that to start the transition just to lay something down my hair is becoming a mess I'm gonna go in with a Morphe M573 brush, and I'm just going to put that in the crease. This is just gonna be that beginning transition shade to help lay the other colors down. And I am think I'm gonna do a halo eye, so I'm actually gonna bring this all the way in to the inner corner of my eye as well. I'm also gonna bring the shade a little bit onto my lid as well to kind of start building the color on the outer corners of each side. These are really nice shadows. Wow, I'm impressed. Okay, I'm gonna go in with Fire, which is this orange shade, and I'm going to take that on a Morphe M57, what? Wow, these are the same exact brush, it's just one is older and one's newer. You can see with the writing. That's funny. So basically the same brush. <laughs> And I'm just going to grab a little bit. I don't know how this is going to turn out. So I'm just going to grab a tiny bit and put it in the same place just to kind of warm it up. But I'm only taking a little in case I don't like it. I really like the color. I just don't want to put too much because I'm thinking I'm going to make the halo shade the orange. And so I don't want it to just be like all orange on my eye. So we're just going to do that tiny amount. That should be good enough. Okay, now to deepen the halo, I'm gonna use the brown shade in the palette, which is called Paley's Curse. P 
I think that's how you say it, but it's just this brown. It's the matte brown shade. And I'm going to use the Morphe M506. It's just a small shader brush. And I'm going to focus it in the outer corner and the inner corner, but then kind of bring the excess to the middle so that the whole thing is deepened, but it's focusing more on the corners. And then as I add a little bit of product, I'll go back in with my other brush and the orange shade and just kind of blend them out as I go. So I'll add a little brown, add a little of the other shade. Well, actually, I'm not adding color. I'm just using that brush. Never mind. I think I'll leave it at that for now as far as how deep. Obviously, once I put the lid shade on, I might darken it up a little bit more. So for the middle shade, I think I'm going to go in with the yellow, which is Molten Magma. The yellow. <laughs> the orange shade. And I'm just going to attempt to use my finger. Let's use my pinky. And I'm just going to place that in the center. That's pretty. Now I'm going to take the brush with the brown and add just a tiny bit of product just to blend the edges out. What's this color? Ah, oh, that's what I should have done. Alright, you know what? Let's just try it. Let's add a little bit of shoot I'm, okay I'm thinking it's burnt and bronze so I'm gonna add a little bit of this on top because this isn't coming out to the color I was thinking it was gonna be so let's just add a little bit of this on top yes and that one gave me fallout okay hold on that's what I want and this one is for sure giving me fallout. So just a fair warning. All right, let's go back in with the brown now again to blend the edges. Okay, so for the lower lash line, I'm going to put the brown shade right along my lash line. I'm going to try to use this brush. It's a Morphe M24 because I'm kind of running out of small brushes. And I'm just going to put that right along the lash line. And then I'm going to take a Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH40 brush, which is basically the same as the Morphe M506. And I'm going to take the first transition shade we took, which is this one, uh, Crater of Helcla. Don't know how to say that. <laughs> and we're just going to use this to buff out that brown shade and make this really smoky. I think I'm just going to tap into the orange shade uh, slightly and add it down here just so it matches a little bit better to the top, but just a tiny bit. I think for my inner corner and brow bone, I'm going to try to take the Anastasia Amrezi highlighter. I'm going to add an eyeliner in my waterline. I'm going to try this eyeliner. I don't know how creamy it is. Um, it's by Bodyography and it's Bali Bronze, so it's kind of like... It's that one, like a bronze, goldy, you know. We're gonna attempt to use that because I don't have a brown, because I think this would look good with brown, but. Yeah, it did a little something. Probably can't even tell on camera. I'm gonna go ahead and finish my mascara and lips off camera, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so this is the finished look uh, for mascara. I used the Benefit Roller Lash and for the lips. I use this cute little baby of the Jeffree Star Liquid Lip in Leo. So, yeah, that is the look. Um, I feel like this palette is really nice. I've never tried her shadows, and her shadows are awesome. They blend amazing. At first, I didn't want to pay $45 for this, but I do think the eyeshadows are worth it. So, yeah, that is all I have for this video. So, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.